<laughs> Le monkey. Uh -oh. He's going dark. Wow. Dude, it's, it's really interesting because I feel like Orion, you know, Orion's a wolf main. At least that's what they say. But I always see him go. I always see him pull Doc out. Or he pulls Doc out a lot. Everyone laughs at Orion's Doc until 3 0s you. Hey, I'm not saying his Doc is bad. I'm just saying he's a wolf main, but he always plays Doc. <laughs> so when, when's he gonna, you know, say he's a, wolf, a, a Doc main? At secondary is wolf. And that's that's could have been a sock, I think. Ward Smash would have been the better option there. But I, I'm assuming uh, Orion just didn't think he'd had enough time to do it. And, uh, he does up B again. He could just he could just be doing forward smash. Like that time for sure, he could have just forward smash. All right, but he finally gets the kill after the third up B. I feel like uh, yeah, the like monkey's having like a, a difficult time getting around the pills. Ooh, this could be a stock. Okay. He actually showed a lot of respect to him off stage. That could be it, I think. Yeah, that's it. Is Grail at this tournament? I don't think I don't think I saw him. <laughs> Wait, what happened there? Okay, nice. It's the pillow to help B. Yeah, again, I don't I don't think like, Lemonk is having a really difficult time getting around pills. Dude, he's getting... <laughs> he's getting combo. That should be it. Oh, does... he? Okay, so right here, I just want to say... Instead of doing up air, he could have up beat. And that would have been game. That for sure would have worked. Especially because the up air worked. Like, if he could combo down throw into up air, he can without question do up B. He could do down... Well, I mean, down B I think would be harder. But, like, up B is just easier. Up B is faster. Up B comes out frame 3. I don't know what frame up air comes out on, but... I don't think it's faster Boom. than his up B. Oh, and then he gets an up B out of shield for the kill. That was actually really nice. He crouches under the back air. Although, I don't know if that would have hit. Actually, no, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure it would have hit if he was standing. So... That was good on him. Crouches under it, low profiles, and then he hits him with the LB. How far away he was, by the way. Look at that. Doc's up B hitbox is actually pretty good. My hitbox is ginormous. Oh, okay. I don't know why I thought he was in the deck from that. You've always been a meat a meat brawler fan? Oh, that's it, I think? Oh no. Yeah? Damn. That was rough. And that was a that was a nice combo. Ooh, is he still going? I thought he was gonna die from that. Cause look, he caped him, so he caped him and he hit and he got hit with a banana. And I think his his controls were still reversed. So he like went the other way or something like that. So I think he was probably holding right, but because he got caved, he was going left, if that makes any sense. I think that's what happened. And then he buffered air dodge, but he, he, he almost, that was almost horrible. He's dead. Oh, that, okay, that was good. So again, it's like the similar situation where he did down throw up air last game, where he could have done up B, but he doesn't want to risk missing, I, I'm assuming. So he also realizes that Le Monkey has to tech on the platform because of where he is. So he just he just reads the tech chase option. And I'm pretty sure this would have covered everything. I think that would have even covered uh, Roll Away if he positioned himself right. So. I think what I'm seeing from Le Monkey is that he is just respecting Orion's jumps like a lot. That's it. Yep, that's a combo. 
That is a combo. So I feel like just from watching that those two matches, yeah, I feel like the monkey was respecting Orion's jumps a lot. I understand why, because Doc Pill is like, it could be really hard to deal with, but I think this is just a matchup where you have to play kind of lame. You have to play super lame versus Doc because that's why he's a bad character. I think what a lot of people don't understand about Dr. Mario is that he's only a bad character because he can't get in. But if, if you fight him up close, he has the frame data of a really good character. He just has the mobility of someone that's really bad. <laughs> it's like Dr. Mario is, is legit like Incineroar if you want to like compare him to another like like quote unquote really bad character. Incineroar is, is considered a bad character because he's slow and can't get in. But once they actually get in, they, like they have the buttons to, 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 to combat you. And the crazy thing about Dr. Mario is that, again, like although he's mob his mobility is bad, he actually has he has some up close buttons better than Mario in, in certain spots. I'm not saying completely better than Mario's, but in certain aspects, they're better than Mario. Like for example, his up B out of shield. His up B out of his up B is better than Mario's, like as an out shield option, because for one, it actually kills. And then the second thing is that the hitbox itself is just bigger. So he has a bigger bubble that you have to respect respect his shield in compared to Mario. Alright. This is not a matchup you see every day. So this this will be fun to watch. Oh, that was nice. That was a really nice sequence. Got the Z drop combos. If that was the strongest, that was it. But luckily for uh, Le Monkey, it was like too far away to get the, like the super, super strong hit of the up B. Why am I hiding my hair? I'm not hiding it. I like wearing beanies, bro. Yep, yep, tilt kill. Oh, I thought he was into the, uh, that one Dakpo combo, where it does like, what, like 60% or something with up B? Oh, that sucks. That's really unfortunate. Yeah. I was just about to say, I'm surprised I, I, I haven't seen any, any up smashes out of shield. So I feel like TD's up smash out of shield's insane. <laughs> All right, back to small battlefield. That could have been an up smash. That for sure could have been an up smash right there. Would that have killed though? Probably. But yeah, that like, I'm pretty sure Ness can't do like any any aerials on, on Day's shield. Yeah, did he like... It's so scary to think about because it, it basically means you have to respect Diddy's shield like way more than uh, you would most characters because of his up smash. Like at higher percents. That's crazy. <laughs> How low that move hits. Oh, that was a good jump read. Should be a lot of damage. Oh, he barely missed that. That that was definitely a online regular get up punish. That was so risky. There he should have get up attack, by the way, because the Ness is charging up smash. Like whenever you see Ness charging like up smash or down smash in that spot, it's like the freest, or you, you should just always up, uh, get up attack. Since you'll just have like a completely invulnerable attack to avoid it. That's it? What happened? Oh yeah, air dodged. That sucks. The hold, the hold buffer. I'm assuming that was the hold buffer. Going to stadium. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was so much damage. Whoa. He dead? He burned his double jump. Wait, where did he burn it? I don't know where he burned his double jump, but he burned it somewhere. That was crazy. It also doesn't help that Diddy Kong Spike is insanely strong. 
That's gonna do it, yep. You know what it is? Yeah, Ness is one of those characters that I don't think he has the uh, the, the ring when he double jumps. It's it's hard it's hard to identify when he double jumps if you hit him like out of it. That's kind of annoying. Oh, that was good. There's something I wanna I wanna say. I feel like every Ness does this thing where if they're near if they if they jump near a platform like that, they almost always jump PK fire. I feel like it's just like it's in the Ness player's DNA to do it. Like I, I just feel like every single Ness player does it. I'm not saying it's a bad thing or anything like that, because I think it's a really good option, but I'm just saying every Ness player will double jump PK fire in like a particular spot if they're near a platform. Every single time. Dude, I, I'm, I'm telling you. See, look, he did it again. See, I'm telling you, it's in their DNA. It's in, it's in, it's in the nest. It's in the nest player DNA. They will do it. Yeah. So if you fight a nest on platform stages, they will. They're gonna do that. The reason why they do it is because aerial PK fire. Like they have less, they have less end lag, and they can combo off of stuff easier. Yeah. Yeah. No. I, I, I like. I think, it, like, clearly it's a good option, but I'm just saying, like, they do it a lot, so just be aware of it. Because I feel like a lot of people get hit by it still. Oh, he has no... He's not dead, yeah, I was gonna say. Oh my god! Oh my god, he went for that! I mean, if he got it, he would have killed. Barely doesn't kill there. Oh no. Okay. Okay, that was good. He got it. Okay, so we have Lay Monkey versus Nox. I feel like this matchup should should be in like uh, Lay Monkey's favor because I I feel like uh, I'm I'm assuming Richter probably just has a hard time dealing with Diddy. Oh, nice. Wow, he read him too. He's up the wrong way. Diddy definitely wins, yeah. I, I... What's up, by the way, uh, PSI guy? But yeah, it, it... It just looks... It just looks really rough for, for the Belmonts. No. Oh, that works? Like that? That's kind of nice. Damn. I'm pretty sure uh, Nox just th thought he was still being vulnerable. But because he's at like a little bit higher percentage of vulnerability, he ran out a little bit sooner. Dude, he's getting, getting worked. That was so good. Throw Runs in, throws the banana down, makes him trip. And then just ends it. Also, for no reason at all, I'm gonna give you the most random Diddy fact that you probably didn't care to know. Did you know that Diddy Kong's fully charged neutral B is stronger than all of his smash attacks? No. It's actually true. Yeah, it's stronger than his fully charged smashes. They go Lilac? I feel like this would be a difficult Belmont stage, right? Just because I feel like it, it would be hard to ledge trap on the stage, which is what you want to do with, with with the character unless I'm missing something he likes the stage okay makes sense that should be it yep <laughs> he's barely out of range that sucks Although, why didn't he- he didn't sit it three times in a row. Like, why didn't he just walk forward? <laughs> oh. Th th that was definitely the counter pick coming in. So I'm pretty sure that would have hit if it wasn't for the, uh, the slant. That should be it, yep. You're gonna become a Belmont <laughs> name with the tag Spaniel? I like it. Ooh, that was good. Like, 
he read the jump. He read the jump like really, really well. I think you. I think in order to get that kill, he had to full hop. Maybe I'm wrong there, but either way, he read the jump, called it out, which is a brave thing to do with the Belmont. Or is, yeah, it's pretty brave to do because you wouldn't expect him to this up smash there. You would expect up B or something. That was a nice side B. Although I feel like he could have done just throw, throwing the banana and got the kill. I think it's it there. Oh, that would have been nasty. That's death. Yep. Yep. As soon as he did, as soon as he got the back, I knew the up air was coming. It's not, it's not really negative. Sometimes it's just, you know, competitive thing. Okay. That's like an annoying spot to be in versus the Belmonts. That sucks. Basically, I pulled our guy killed for pulling the banana, which is like. I feel like that happens every so often. Diddy gets very antsy with pull banana in a certain situation. <laughs> that almost worked. That, that literally almost worked. He just needs to dare a little bit later. I think he should be dead. Oh, never mind. He like, uh, right here. He went out too early. He just needed to wait a little bit before he went out. Or I think the other thing he could have done, which might have been better, is that instead of run off, he should have jumped. Yeah, because Nox still had his double jump because he ledge jumped on stage. So he should have jumped and then just thrown out the fair because then Nox wouldn't have been able to, been able to avoid it. That's it. Yep. Gets the kill. That was a nice whip punish, by the way. It's definitely a range that I don't feel like Belmonts are used to having to worry about. So, yeah, that, that's that's why it worked, I feel like. Because throughout the forward tilt, most characters aren't going to be able to punish you, but Diddy Kong with the banana will. And there it is. This matchup, I think Diddy probably do, does probably wins. Yeah, I feel like Diddy does really well versus Falcon. Kind of for... You know, similar similar reasons that like other short characters do well versus Falcon. It's kind of hard for him to hit him. But I mean, so far OJ is doing really good. Ooh, if he up a little bit ooh, uh, sooner, he would have got he would have gotten the hit. I'm pretty sure. The crazy thing about this is that even, like, let's say Le Monkey shielded this. If Le Monkey shielded it, he wouldn't have been able to punish him. Because <laughs> Up Smash is, mi is minus 7 on shield. Or minus 6, something like that. I think it's minus 7. But either way, like, Up Smash is, is that safe. Like, he wouldn't have been able to punish it. Oh, if he, if he upgraded on the platform here... He made it to like up air and then pull back because he went like a little bit too far forward. He could have need him. Oh, it's minus seven both hits. Okay. All right. So he would have been able to get back. He would have. He would have gotten back aired. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. That's still. That's still crazy. I'll see. He gets another up smash kill. I think Blade Monkey should have done another down tilt instead of go for the up smash. He's dead. Yep. <laughs> as soon as he as soon as he hit him with that, I knew. I knew it was over. That's disgusting. Kind of surprised that hit. Kind of. Oh, that was a nice setup. It didn't it didn't work, but it's definitely a good setup. That was good. Oh, that's very unfortunate. Very 
barely misses that. That buff coming in. That upbeat buff coming in clutch. Save him from getting punched there. Okay. This is still doable. I mean, OJ could definitely just zero to death him like he did the last game. Yeah, I can't do that. That was kind of a very, very greedy uh, neutral air by OJ. Because he, he wanted the neutral air because he knew if he got that, he could have gotten a lot of damage off of it. But it was like... Really predictable the way he jumped in that he was gonna do it. That's just one of those situations where you're like, if I get this, I win. <laughs> That's all he was thinking about. Okay, I'm surprised he just didn't. I think I know what happened. I think he was expecting, or he didn't realize that he that he lost his double jump, so he tried to double jump out of out of that, but he had to tech. Okay, that kills. Yeah, that was greedy. Like the way the way he went for, he went for the edge guard there was just really it wasn't worth it at all. <laughs> He could have died there. I feel like uh, OJ's going for a lot of... Uh... He's playing more risky than he, than I feel like he normally does. It's like a lot of if this hits I win type of things. He's not dead, is he? Yeah, he's not dead. That could have also been bad. <laughs> uh, online monkey's part. But that's going to do it? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, that's that. What was that? Well, I was like, oh, he just okay. I mean, it makes sense. I'm confused. As, I, I'm I'm surprised he did the first upbeat he did, but then the narrow the narrow beat he did there made sense because that would have been a lot of damage. But it sucks that he missed. Oh no, it's lagging. <laughs> no, what what? <laughs> Oh no, he barely missed that back there. I want to actually go back. Nope. Barely. Like, he was like a few frames away. He needed to back air like a little bit later. Because that would have killed. Yeah, he gets the kill there though. Oh, that was nice. Nice. <laughs> that was sick. That was actually sick. Alright, game number five. That only missed because he up smashed too too early. If he was like a little bit later, he would have connected that and he would have gotten the stock. Okay. Good edge guard from uh Play Monkey. Love watching him throw out random up smashes. See that that's actually just really good Falcon play, honestly. Up smash up smash randomly is great. Oh that was that was that was really bad. That was that was the online Falcon kick. Oh he gets a sour spot in the back here. I think the sweet spot would have killed too. I like how the monkey's playing. He's not really like throwing out too many unsafe options. Yeah, he's playing this like really, really careful. He does not want to lose his stock. That's it though? Yeah. <sighs> 
That was almost it. That was that was literally almost it. Bruh. Wow. He got the timing. He just did not get the spacing. <laughs> well, he just did not get the spacing. Oh, one well, is panicking though. You can see it. No, oh, that's it. Damn. Wow, that's. It's not even a slow reaction. He tried to jump away. <laughs> so what happened there was that uh, OJ down smashed uh, like a monkey shield, and he thought he was safe enough to jump away. And the monkey's like, "Nope, frame five up smash." <laughs> I'm, I'm running at you with a frame bomb up smash. If OJ had, had shielded, he would have been fine. But that's like a weird spot to be in, I feel like. 